Sports betting one step closer to launching here in Maine. State officials announcing this week they've sent rules to the Attorney General's office who will have 120 days to review and approve them. That is the final hurdle in the process. Connor Clement has more on what the industry will look like and what the business will mean for our state. Maine's Gambling Control Unit hopes that come November, Mainers will be able to place bets on sporting events. We're talking about November 10th at the latest, so maybe the following week we'll be able to go live. And hey, what a great Thanksgiving present, right? Governor Mills made wagering on sports legal in 2022, but the rollout has been slow. Milton Champion, the executive director of the Gambling Control Unit, says a lack of staff and other elements, such as Maine's casinos needing attention, has played a role. So there's those interruptions when you're trying to get something done. But we got her done, and, uh, and, and we feel really, really good about it. The industry is expected to generate anywhere from 4 to $7 million annually for the state. Dr. John Holden, a professor at Oklahoma State University who has written many pieces on the regulation of sports gambling, says the timeline of implementation in Maine is great. Really, the biggest gambling events in the country are, are later in the year. So it's NFL playoffs, NFL stretch, where that November, December, where those teams are competing for the playoffs, those are huge weeks and then leading into sort of wild card weekend and divisional playoffs. Maine's Gambling Control Unit expects 10 facilities, including commercial casinos and racetracks, to operate physical sports books with a licensing fee of $4,000 every four years. Maine's four recognized indigenous tribes will operate online betting, paying a fee of $200,000 every four years for a license. Three of the four tribes have already partnered with Caesar Sportsbook. The Passamaquoddy tribe says they're still in negotiations on a partnership with a betting provider. Champion says as soon as rules are approved, licenses will be sent out. Obviously, uh, they'll be mailed, but we'll contact folks uh, immediately by email and say, hey, you've been approved, your temporary license is on the way, and uh, you have all the permissions to go, to go live. Connor Clement, Maine's Total Coverage.